All right, we're back again, and today we got the Super Famicom, and uh, what I want to show you is a power uh, problem fix. It's a pretty simple one. Uh, it's kind of simple, like my uh, Dreamcast fix video that I just put up. But um, what you're going to need, unfortunately, is you're going to need a special uh, screwdriver uh, to take out the, the bottom screws in this. And uh, another thing that I recommend is getting a test light uh, or a test pen. Uh, just so you can test the uh, the power cord and make sure it's not the power cord. Um, sometimes what happens with these uh, Super Famicoms or with the uh, Super Nintendos is you'll get no power no matter what you do. Um, you'll have the the AC adapter plugged in and uh, you'll you'll try and turn on the power no matter what you do you just can't get power. There's a couple of things that can go wrong with this and uh, one of those problems being is that the end of the uh, the connector uh, for the AC adapter might be a little bit uh, a little bit of corrosion or something on it. What you can do is use some steel wool, make sure it's unplugged of course, use some steel wool and uh, clean that off. Also check the back too for um, any problems in the back here around the connector. If it's got uh, a little bit of corrosion or something on it, you can scrub that off with uh, uh, usually a flathead screwdriver, really thin one. Try and scrape it off there. But uh, if those two things don't work and you do have power um, after using your test pen, uh, then the problem is probably uh, the inside here. It's a really simple fix. And what you're going to want to do is take out these screws here in the back. There's six of them. There's one, two, three, four, and five, and six. Once you get these screws off, you should be able to lift the top off pretty easily. And yeah, under here, it's going to be probably a little bit different for the uh, Super Famicom, or the Super Nintendo, sorry. Super Nintendo, I think it's on this side, but the main focus here is, I don't know if you can see it, there's a fuse. There's a 1.5 amp fuse. It's black, and it's uh, the same color on the Super Nintendo. Usually what happens is this uh, this fuse pops, and uh, bingo, no power. So the way that you can fix this is, uh, like I said in my other video, you can do it the poor man's way or you can do it right. Uh, the poor man's way would get uh, would be to get a uh, uh, somewhat um, thick piece of copper wire and uh, get a piece of copper wire and solder it in and uh, from point A to point B. Once you get that soldered in, bam, turn on your power and you got power. Um, the, the bad thing about putting just a piece of copper wire in is uh, if by any chance there is a power, um, uh, power surge or something like that, uh, it's no longer going to pop the fuse, it's going to pop something else in your system. So be careful when you do that. Um, if you really don't care about it and you just want to you wanna play some games and you want to do it uh, really quickly, you can do it that way. Or you could wrap, uh, wrap some wire around the, the point at the top and then wrap it around the point at the bottom. As long as it makes a complete circuit, you're okay. Um, if possible, the best way that I recommend is to get another 1.5 amp fuse and uh, this one says SOC 1.5A so if you can find a, a similar fuse for that pop, pop that in solder it in and you're ready to go but uh, yeah that's just uh, that's just one way to fix the uh, the power problem on the uh, Super Famicom or Super Nintendo and uh, like I said with uh, with anything start the simple route uh, make sure that you got power coming from your AC adapter and once you got that uh, all cleared up and you know that it's not the AC adapter problem check the back um, if you're getting good connections uh, in the back then uh, the third option is to uh, go and replace that amp but once you do that uh, or sorry that fuse and once you do that uh, you'll be back on the road to playing games again so hopefully this video will help you out a little bit but uh, like always I'll uh, put up another video here soon so thanks for watching